All right, welcome back to another video, everybody. It's another beautiful spring day. No rain in sight and 15 degrees. My kind of weather. So we're just uh, finally getting around. We're gonna finally getting around to uh, bailing up or tying up all this uh, waste plastic. We almost gave up on this machine because it was giving us a hard time, especially in the snow. It's really not made for having like two feet of snow around it, so we might put it inside next winter. But for the spring now, it works pretty damn good because we figured out this rod here that was hidden in one of the tubes. And uh, basically what it does, you put the string through there and you can feed it underneath so you can make a complete loop around. So I'll show you real quick. Let me just tie the string pretty loose the end here and then we can just feed it we can put a string for every crack here seems like a lot but uh, I think that's what it needs otherwise it's not gonna hold so that gets that under there you just got to remember you got to go inside here when you loop it around obviously comes out through here on this side there is nothing so you can go straight up but this one you have to make sure you come through here so yeah this uh this rod kind of makes it easy and that's how you should use it so we're gonna get this tied up see it's still compressed now so even if I don't get these strings too tight, once we release pressure, it's gonna tighten up. But I got them pretty tight. So yeah, we're gonna just put a mess of strings and see how it works. All right, we got six strings tied up. Let's release the beast now. Well, release the tension on the chain block here. First, we gotta put this back in its hiding spot. for a reason, I just never saw it. That always springs up a little bit once I take the tension off. But now that that is off, um, I can, what do I do now? I, uh, oh yeah, I gotta lift. <laughs> lift this up. Lift the plunger now, and if any strings are connected to the plunger, we will find out now. <laughs> so far, so good. Ooh. Okay, so we got some net wrap that's stuck on it. All right, so I disconnected the cable winch that was holding the plunger up right here. Put the safety pin in and then connected it to this cable that it goes through and onto the other side to the bottom so when i pick it up that whole uh that whole plug of of plastic is going to come out hopefully i'm going to pull our doors out now so this plunger is not even sitting on anything it's sitting on i guess it's just stuck that's kind of dangerous because i thought it was sitting on the pin but it's not and i thought it was sitting on the wall but it's not so we'll cautiously go about this these pins are not the best All right, doors open. Everything looks good, tight. We're gonna uh, pick her up and try to get it out of here now with this, like I said, that cable that goes underneath. Ooh, great cable here. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty freaking heavy, dude. All right, there it goes. That's how it's supposed to work. Last winter, or this winter, we had the strings actually frozen in the ground. So when we went to go lift, it ripped the string, and when it plopped out, it opened up. So that was a big bonfire after that. And now, we can, wow, that's cool. And we can recycle this properly. It actually goes to an incinerator, how ironic is that? But it probably makes electricity or something. It's better than burning in a pile here, so. Yeah. Um, that will come with the bucket, I guess, or the loader, or the spear. I don't know. I guess it can go from the side, just like a hay bale. All right, it's out and on the pallet for it. So now we're gonna put it on a pallet, so now we're gonna tie it to the pallet. There's a little thing here again. So this is our fencing trailer, I just tipped it upside down. Um, we always have trouble with these stupid wheels. Um, bearings are shot out of them and they always have holes in them. And I don't feel like looking for new ones, so we're gonna change them. Uh, old hay wagon spindles. I think I'm just gonna cut the tubing right here and weld it to the trailer, assuming it's straight. And we got lots of hay wagon tires, so those will work good. Just gotta see what I gotta do here. I gotta cut some stuff off. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, so. Lots to do. All right, so that axle's out. I got some parts that we cut up. Um, not sure yet if we're gonna use those ones that are already out, or we're gonna put these in. Or we're gonna be welding to the trailer. All right on top I don't know yet I was thinking blasting a hole through it and sticking these in yeah oh, that's all it's yeah oh. so, don't know yet I'm gonna weld it on though well I skipped the part where I built it and showed you guys but this is what it looks like <laughs> it's really heavy I just uh, had to end up joining two of the tubing together. And then I had to, uh, had to plate it at the end, cap it, and make a hole for the shaft to get through. But first I had to cut the shaft out of the old piping. And now we're just gonna throw some tires on it. <laughs> oh my fuck, are you serious? Look at the bar. <laughs> Why, what? Is that, is that really a big there? <laughs> Where? Put a shittier one. That's way too good. So we went from these car tires to massive. Oh my god! Hey, good thing I. Uh... Hey, I was gonna freaking bring them closer. They would have touched. Oh, that's lucky. I thought they were too far out. Hey, we got more tire than wagon. <laughs> All right, I'll get the other one. Since we scrapped our hay wagons, we got a lot of spares. Hey, it is literally 25 degrees. It's almost too hot. Yeah, so we got a lot of tires. Yeah, they're all, they're good for this project. That's about it. I'm glad we don't have to haul hay with these things. 12 tons on these don't work so much anymore. All right, that's what it looks like. It's just a wagon, I know, but this is a big moment for us. We have air in these tires. Should have seen how I turned it over. Anyways, we're gonna cut this horrendous hitch off, put a pin, 
so we don't need to change the ball on the full wheel all the time. Especially on these Bombardiers, we don't have the, the receiver hitch like the Kawasaki does. We just have a plate. I'm sure you can add it. It's probably an option, but this is way better than those. 